right, so we have come to day three of this boiler install and um, looking pretty good so far. Uh, as we went over, this is the uh, steel header, mostly. There's some cast iron coupling there and a plug in there for cleaning out. I've got a stainless steel, two inch stainless steel nipple there for um, corrosion resistance because that seems to be where a lot of uh, leaks occur over time. I've uh, got a nice, there's the wet return drain valve there and this is the uh, stainless steel street L where we transition uh, from the copper and we've brought the two return, uh, wet returns uh, down significantly below the water line so that there's no chance for the steam to get up in there and, and, and do a, a cross connection. And that's where we're feeding the water. So we'll go over that. Uh, we installed a new um, ball valve there. We used an iron pipe ball valve to reduce the risk of uh, having a failure where it will um, be overheated and pass water. I've had a couple of those. I'll get into those later, but. Uh, Suffice to say, I'm getting a little tired of that, and they, um, so the red-white uh, valve seemed to be a pretty good quality valve. They're they're coming out of a mill in Italy, uh, not uh, not China or in Taiwan. And they got a uh, brass nipple there, backflow preventer, nothing spectacular. And we reuse the old um, water feed tree. Uh, probably, this is probably from about two boilers ago. And somebody, when they put in the boiler that we just removed, they um, uh, installed the VXT sideways. So I um, cleaned up the valve and um, rebuilt it and uh, put a VXT on that's, uh, that I've tested, made sure that I can verify that it works, and uh, put it on uh, uh, so they can read the numbers a little easier. Uh, in order to clean up the um, valve there with the calcium deposits, um, I'm starting to use uh, this stuff here, citric acid. I like it because it, uh, is, it's not likely to uh, spill on the truck. Uh, it's solid and you mix it with water in the field and create a pretty nice... Um, acidic solution which does a nice job of uh, cleaning out the lime and, and mineral deposits and we just you just have to make sure you wash it pretty well otherwise you'll get uh, corrosion so we've got our clamps here holding this in place and uh, pretty solid Rob did an excellent job as usual tying that in so that's ready to be wired uh, tomorrow so we got here, and we did fill this and uh, hot wire it uh, to get it to fire. Again, uh, we reused the um, uh, lovely skim tapping. Now, as I said, we brought the um, we brought the gas line. The gas line originally dropped in this plane here, and so we brought it over, and then we put the valve up there. So if this has to be worked on or whatever. You can shut it off there and you're not dancing around this pipe. Uh, what usually the, I used to mount the valves there, but uh, it was suggested that we mount it up in the ceiling, and that's a good idea to me. In fact, it's code in some areas, so hey, no problem. Um, that's good. So, pressure control, as we discussed, is uh, set to the lowest possible setting. Um, and you should never need more than a pound, half a pound will heat this building, no problem. There's our drain valve there, the sight glass drain valve. That's kind of our trademark here. Um, every boiler we can try to get these drains. And we've got a hose. This is a 3 8 inch hose. And we've got a barb fitting there, a nice brass barb fitting we get from supplyhouse.com. And we use these guys. No problem there. And we got our lovely drain. That's way overkill for this small boiler, but hey, 
God, anything's better than this. Look at that. That's what they. That's what comes with. Uh, uh, yeah, this is what was on the old boiler. In the typical fashion, the the um, washers failed. It. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see, it just comes right off. It's just, these are just absolute junk. So this was what came with the new one, and it went right into the scrap bucket. Did not even, not even a, a no, I hate them. So that's a nice full port, uh, male by female drain with the that's stainless steel, and then I got brass, and then um, excuse me, uh, galvanized, and then there's your brass uh, hose connection on the end. So that'll drain up real quick. Yeah, back here, just going to show you, there's the uh, block flu switch there with its little reset button. And here's another shot of the wet return there. Redid that. That was what I did today. We got this uh, flu squared away by um, hitting this with WD-40. We were able to get these to move again and uh, reorient them reasonably well and uh, reuse that as they weren't that old. So I think that takes care of uh, today's uh, adventure. Uh, tomorrow we, we, we wire and fire for real and uh, see if we can figure out and if there are any leaks on the system uh, at the, as far as packing nuts, leaking vents, and um, union nuts on the radiators. Uh, we're also going to tap the main, at the, the long main, as I uh, described before, and um, see if we can uh, get a little better balance in the system. Again, thank you very much. Stay safe, and thank you for your support.